Today I'm going to show you how to represent inequalities which take the form x is less than a or x is more than a on a coordinate grid. Um, so first of all you need to know what types of line you need to draw and whether you shade to the left or to the right. Um, so for x is less than a you shade left and you use a dashed line. For x is more than a you shade right again you use a dashed line. For x is less than or equal to a you shade to the left and you do a normal line and for x is more than or equal to a you shade to the right and you do a normal line so let's look at our two examples so example one we've got to represent x is less than or equal to 2 on a coordinate grid so first of all then we need to think about how we draw the straight line x equals 2 now you should know already to draw x equals 2 this is just a vertical line going through the x-axis at 2 so there's 2 so we need to do a vertical line going through 2 so let me just think about what type of line it's going to be so if it's for less than or equal to you do a normal line so we do a normal line going through 2 and we need to shade to the left of the line so we're shading everything to the left of the line we've just drawn and once you've finished just mark the area as x is less than or equal to 2 so let's move on to example 2 then, so this time we need to represent x is more than minus 3 on the coordinate grid so again we just need to think about how we draw the line x equals minus 3 so to draw x equals minus 3 this will be a vertical line going through the x axis at minus 3 so let's just now look at what type of line it needs to be so if it's more than we need to do a dashed line this time and we need to shade to the right. Okay, so we've got x equals 3 there. Sorry, x equals minus 3. So if we do a dashed line this time, so we need to now shade to the right because we're doing more than. And again, we just need to now mark this area as x is more than minus 3. Uh, thanks for watching.